So um, on this problem, we are given the center of a circle. We're told that the center of the circle uh, is the point six comma two. And we're told that the radius of the circle is nine. Now we're asked to find uh, the values of x. So find all the values. Oops, I can rewrite that here. Find all of the values of x such that uh, the point x comma negative one is on the circle. Okay, so a good way to approach this, and this is a good piece of advice for most problems, is to draw a picture or a diagram. So I'm going to make a little Cartesian plane here. It's probably going to be a little bit wonky, but doesn't have to be perfect here. And let's just say, you know, 6-2 is somewhere over here. Does not have to be to scale. We'll call that 6-2. And we want to have a circle that is centered at this point six comma two there. Uh, that's about centerish. All right, so uh, now we're asked to find all values such that x comma negative one is on the circle. There's a couple ways to think about this, but I think the most intuitive way to think about this is you're looking for all x's, right? So all x's such that this y is negative one, such that y equals negative one. And look what we've done here. We've actually created a function. So this, we can look at y as a function of x, right? And this is just a constant function. So a nice way to think about it is if this is negative one, uh, is think of this as a line where y equals negative one. And these points x such that uh, y equals negative one uh, is on the circle is basically saying, hey, where are all these points such that these two things intersect, such that this line here that we've driven, drawn intersects with the circle. This also helps kind of conceptualize the idea that there's two, there's going to be two answers for this, right? There, it says find all values. That's very vague. You want to have a sense of how many you're looking for, and we're looking for two. Um, assuming, of course, that it intersects, it's a fair assumption considering that this problem is asking you to do the work, right? So we were assuming that they're going to be intersecting. I mean, if it didn't, we'd find out. But all right, so this case here, we're given that the radius is nine, uh, which means that all the points on the circle are nine away, nine units away from the center. So this center here, so this here is a radius. There's another radius. Each of these are nine. Um, now, a good way to think about this, since we're working with circles, is to think about these as triangles, right? Going to these this, these points, x comma negative one, and x is variable, so you know it could be either one of these points, right? So now we have triangles and and a hypotenuse, and look at this. We actually also have a couple of um, other details here with some more information we can use. Namely, we have we can look at this as the change in y between the center and these points. And this is the change in x uh, from the center to this point here. And now that we have all these three sides, we can think about these in terms of a Pythagorean theorem. So the change in x in this case, if we're looking at the difference here, is uh, 6 minus x. And the change in y we're looking here is 2 minus negative 1, which is 3. And we have the hypotenuse is 9. So now we just put this together um, to figure out what x is. Uh, 3 squared is 9 equals 81. So this is just a Pythagorean theorem. We're just plugging in the sides. And we do the algebra here, minus 12x plus x squared plus 9 equals 81. We subtract that, uh, or add that rather, that's 45 x squared minus, or excuse me, 81. I'm just gonna move these around a little bit to make it a little bit more apparent what we're doing. Uh, minus 36 equals zero. Now we have a quadratic equation here and that we can solve for the roots. Um, this would be super easy if we could factor it. We can't, 
uh, if this is a plus, we could factor it uh, really nicely. Um, but you just plug this in to the trusty quadratic, that's a B, quadratic formula, B squared minus 4AC um, over 2A, uh, where the A, B, and C are the coefficients. Of course, I mean, you should know how to do the quadratic formula at this point, uh, the coefficients uh, of these terms here, A, B, and C. And when you plug those in, it's going to give you two answers, of course, because you're working with this plus or minus here. Um, and I'll trust you to go ahead and, and do all of that uh, plugging in and working out. Um, it's a good idea also to double check your answer afterwards, just to make sure it makes sense by whatever answers you get, plugging that back into the uh, uh, Pythagorean theorem here, just to make sure that this point actually lies on that circle. So there you go. Good luck.